what's going on y'all we are out here today getting ready to go target some flounder i'm in an area that can hold some really really big flounder so hopefully we can get on a good bite y'all stay tuned let's see if we can go catch some fish all right so we're kind of on the end of an incoming tide i believe high tide peak of high tide is around eight o'clock this morning so it's still kind of slowly coming in which is what i like to target these flounder on a high tide around these marsh lines and edges but if i'm not finding uh, these fish around the grass i got a whole lot of rock and structure and other things in the area that i can try to target these fish on i am going to start off using the southern salt hoodwink this is our neon ninja color i will link these down below uh, if y'all like them please head over there check out the link and give them a purchase these are my own personal lures and uh, that would help me out a ton if y'all would go on there and uh, purchase some lures. He's on. That was a good thump. He let go of it. Good thump. Good thump. Be the right species it is. <laughs> it is the right species for sure. He, there he goes. He was a small one though. That was the first flounder on. I didn't give him a whole lot of time to uh, swallow that hook. He just thumped it really, really hard. It almost didn't even feel like a flounder. I was thinking it might have been a redfish, but man, he hit it with conviction. Let's see if we can get us another one to bite. There he is. There's a fish. I don't know. He's coming right to me. Ah. All right. Don't know what that was. I'm sure, it was a flounder. I missed another fish. Well, I didn't miss the first fish. I saw, I saw him. I wasn't going to keep him anyways. I'm pretty sure that was a flounder. Not 100% because I never saw him. But he hit it like a flounder. Only thing that kind of threw me off is that when I set the hook, he swam straight to me. But uh, we're on the right path. We're definitely getting bites this morning. Got him. That feels like a mangrove. Oh, flounder. All right. Well, man. That one did not bite like a flounder. That's a decent one right there. I was thinking mangrove the whole way. Yeah, that's a nice 17, 18 incher. Beautiful little flounder right there. Go ahead and pop the old hook out of you. That guy was not getting off. That hook was dug in the side of his cheek pretty good. What a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Man, we are going to be keeping a day, so I'm going to take this guy to the house. Uh, but we are allowed to keep 10 of these, and they only got to be 12 inches. Uh, but we're not going to keep anything close to 10 today. We're just going to keep what we can eat, and this guy is going to make a good meal. So I'm pretty much just throwing a chartreuse lure out here. This is what we call our Neon Ninja color. Uh, we're in a little bit of stained water, but even if we were in clean water, when you're targeting flounder, you can never go wrong with bright, bright colors. Uh, and in fact, the only three colors I ever use to target flounder, it's pretty much white, chartreuse, and pink. I wanna go for my brightest colors possible. Flounder are just really triggered by that flare right so if you got hair jigs and things like that anything that adds a little extra flare or brightness it, it really just triggers this flounder and uh can get a lot more bites but yeah we're going with chartreuse today and so far it's working out we've only been at it for about i don't know 35 40 minutes or so and we've already connected with three flounder got him that might be a good one right under me feels decent i mean he bit it right under the kayak boat flip boom oh 
Oh, he was holding down flat. Made me think he was a lot bigger than what he was. I was sitting there jigging this grass line. Nothing happened. And I set my lure down right under the kayak. And boom. Look at the bulge coming out of that flounder's gut right there. <laughs> I mean, that joker was definitely eating. Well, dude, I appreciate it. We got us another one for the box. Come on, let go. Such beautiful fish, one of my favorite fish to catch. This never, never gets old, y'all. The setup that I'm using this morning is a Shimano Corrado uh, 150 size reel, one of my favorite reels. The rod that I'm using is a 7.2 medium fast action chubby rods. In my opinion, this is the best rod on the planet uh, for the price. I will link that down below to get a lot of questions about these rods, my favorite rod. Um, but I got 15 pound mainline braid to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, about four, four and a half foot of leader. And then I just got that on with an eighth ounce jig head. And I already talked about the hood wink right there. Um, an eighth ounce is kind of borderline a little too light, but when I'm fishing like marsh grass like this, uh, I don't want to go too heavy. I definitely don't want a three eighth. A quarter would be fine, uh, but you can never really go wrong with throwing a quarter ounce jig head for flounder. We're on. I don't know what we got. He's running out in the channel. He's feeling a little bit, a little bit good. That might be a good fish. Woo! Kill and drag on me. Come on. What do we got? Oh, Spanish mackerel. <laughs> All right, then. Was not expecting to catch one of them guys. See ya. Crazy insane all right y'all well, we are back at the house now wind really really picked up out there it's still only about 10 a.m wasn't a bad morning but we did go out there and we caught us some lunch so we got two nice flounder one for me one for the wife i'm going to show y'all how i'm going to clean that flounder and then we're going to take it to the grill and we're going to whip up a pretty doggone good meal all right so these are our two flounder right here not bad ones not bad for a decent little morning out there Just gonna put them down on my table and uh we're gonna do this we're gonna do whole grilled flounder so basically i'm not gonna be filleting any of these got a spoon right here and what i'm gonna do first is just go through and i'm gonna go ahead and knock all the scales off of it All right, got all our scales removed from the top half. We're not gonna forget about the bottom half because there's also some really good meat right here. So now that we got all the scales off of this fish, we're gonna go ahead and remove the head. Y'all can leave the head on if you want. I ain't going to. All right, went ahead and removed the head right there. Now I didn't show that part. I figured that's kind of self-explanatory, but I don't want to get any kind of content violation strikes. Uh, YouTube's policies are kind of little, little wonky. So we went ahead and removed the head. And now all we're going to do is on the top side of this fish, we're going to store it down to the bone, just like that, about inch, half inch uh, marks on it, just like so. And then we're going to come through and we're going to check her it the other way. Knife needs to be sharper. That's all right. It's doing the job. All right, just like that. So that is a beautiful piece of fish right there. I'm going to go ahead and work on this other one and I will meet y'all back at the grill. All right, we are out here on the porch now getting ready to grill up this flounder. Y'all check out these beautiful, beautiful flounder right here. Nice and checkered. This is going to come together awesome. I am starving now. I'm ready to eat. So we're going to go ahead and rip through this thing, 
it's gonna be a good recipe so over here we already got our coal set up in a two stage so all of our coals are pushed off to one side they're ready to go we're gonna go over here and prep our fish so let's see we got our fish right here um, in a bowl I just got one stick of melted butter and uh, we're gonna use this to kind of build up some seasoning, a, a nice little base. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and crack some sea salt over that flounder. And then we're also gonna go ahead and go down with some fresh cracked pepper. Just like that. All right, we are done with that. Set that off to the side. All right, so our base for our base is gonna be Everglades fish and chicken. This is some amazing seasoning. If y'all have any Everglades near you, you gotta pick it up. This is really, really good fish seasoning. But we're gonna go in with a decent amount in that. None of this is measuring. We're just kind of eyeballing it. Uh, then we're gonna go down with some garlic powder. Just like that. Next up, we got onion powder. Just gonna layer in flavor in this butter right here. And then gotta have the Italian seasoning, give it a little fresh herb on that fish. And then lastly to all this, we're gonna add in some fresh, fresh. It ain't fresh, this jarred, but we're gonna add in some minced garlic and a decent amount right there at least a tablespoon of it and then from there all we're going to do is just mix all that together it's a beautiful basting sauce right there if y'all have watched the channel for any length of time you've seen the catching cooks i use this right here on a ton of recipes you really can't go wrong with it Everybody's going to love it. It's absolutely amazing. All right. So from there, we just got us a little brush. We're going to brush that into our flounder. Making sure to get it all in each one of those cracks and crevices. All right. We got a little bit of extra. We're going to save that for later so we can reapply halfway through. Our fish is now ready to go on the grill. So we're just going to pop this kind of over here just like that. We're going to cover it up. And our total cook time is going to be somewhere around 20 minutes or so. But about halfway through, we're going to come through and we're going to rebaste our fish. All right, we've been running a little over 10 minutes now. Let's go ahead and take a look. Whoo! Man, does that not look amazing? Yo, it smells even better. I'm telling you, it smells amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon the remainder of this right here over the top of that fish. Golly, y'all, this is gonna be absolutely killer. Oh, man. My mouth is absolutely watering right now. I cannot wait. Just gonna kind of brush the rest of that in just a little bit. And we're gonna wait. And what we're looking for is this fish to just flake from the bone. We want it to where it just falls off of there. So we're gonna give it, I don't know, seven to eight more minutes. And we're gonna come out and test it. All right, it has now been 20 minutes. We're gonna do a real quick flake test. Do y'all hear that sizzle? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's go. So we're just gonna do a little flake test. See how that meat has completely, that's bone right there. It's completely pulled from it. That fish is ready to come off. Go ahead and set that lid right there real quick. Put on my mitt so I don't scald my hands. Got a little mismatch action going on today. It's all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. Set them over here. I'm gonna finish working on some other stuff and we'll come back to y'all with a taste test. All right, well, it is time for the moment of truth. Y'all check it out right here. That's our fish, the star of the show, 
Try to get my shadow off of it right there. You see where I've pulled a couple little pieces off, just checking to make sure it's done. But that's it, grilled flounder. And we got us a little bit of garlic toast, as well as some cheese grits. Y'all know, you gotta have cheese grits with your fish. I, I don't know if that's a Southern thing or whatever, but I don't think there's anything that goes better with fish than cheese grits. That's just my opinion. But anyways, enough of me talking. I'm gonna go in here and give y'all what y'all been waiting for. I'm gonna take a bite. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and that piece that I lifted off, I'll save this piece right here for the wife. There we go. Matter of fact, we're gonna dip just a little bit of grits with that. That flounder absolutely just melts in your mouth. That's probably one of the best flounder I've ever cooked. That's amazing. Y'all, I'm about to dive in, finish this up. I am starving. It's two o'clock now. Have not eaten all day, so I'm about to tear this meal up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. If y'all would, hit that like button. Comment with any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.